Okay, one more example, and it might be my favorite one of the whole course. Let's teach logic to add. So the way we're going to teach it to add when it doesn't know anything about numbers is we'll teach it which numbers come in what order. So it's a fact that if you increment one, you get two. Okay, so here are my facts. If I increment one, I get two, two, I get three, three, I get four, four, I get five, and five, I get six. Now here's how you add. One way you can add is you can add one to something and you'll get that something plus one. Now this is not uh, anything special. This is just a symbol in the language. And when is that true? Well, it's true if x and x plus one are already in the increment relation. But you can add other numbers besides one. So you could add any x plus one to any y to get any z plus one, just as long as it's the case that you can increment x to get x plus one, that you can increment z to get z plus one, and that you already know how to add x and y to get z. What happens if I want to add two and three? What sum will result in my relation? I run that and it tells me that the sum is five. And I can not only add, I can add backwards. So I could say, what are all the x and y's that sum together to give me the number five? And it will just go ahead and enumerate them all. So here we have uh, one plus four, two plus three, three plus two, and four plus one. So that's kind of cool. Let's do something fancier. I want to be able to build relations that say things like, if I add together two, and the sum of one plus two, the value of that expression should be five. Now there are simple versions of this. I should be able to evaluate the expression three and get back the value three. So that's gonna be my base case. Fact, if I evaluate some x, I'll get x, just as long as it's the case that x is a number. We don't have a great way to refer to numbers right now, so we'll just use the increment relation where all the numbers are listed out right there. But what about the more interesting case? How do I evaluate something that looks like plus followed by two operand expressions? Well, that's gonna be some value. I get that value as long as it's the case that I can add together two arguments that correspond to those operands in order to get that value. So that's the semantics of the expression is that plus means addition. And then we need the recursive nature of evaluation, which means that it's the case that I can evaluate operand zero, which is an expression to get argument zero, which is a value. And likewise, I can evaluate operand one to get argument one. So in total, this says here's what a plus expression means. It means I can add two arguments together where those arguments are the values of the two operands. So what's the point of this? Well, let's get rid of that. And now we're gonna query what happens when I evaluate plus two plus one, two, which I have there. And the uh, sum should be five. So it's evaluated this in order to get five. Cool. So finally, we're going to load X logic into our interpreter. It tells me the sum is five for the query that I issue there, but let's run evaluation backwards. So what are all the expressions? that sum to one, and it'll just tell me one. What about those that sum to two? So I could have two alone, or I could add one and one. What about those that sum to three? Well, I could add one and two, or I could add one in this way to one and one, or I could add two to one, 
and that two could be split up into one plus one. What are all the ways of evaluating four? Well, now we're getting somewhere. So now four is just four, or it's one plus three, or it's three plus one, or it's one and one, and then one and one again. Well, there's a lot of ways of saying that. I wonder if there are even more ways of evaluating five. And our logic interpreter has no problem just enumerating them all. As you can see, we have things like four plus one, but we also have what you get when you add one and one, add one to that, and sum that with one and one over here. And finally, we can sum up all the ways of getting the number six, which is actually a pretty long list.